Okay, to start for breakfast, we are having what I'm calling buckwheat variety breakfast. <laughs> this is one of my favorite, favorite meals to use in place of smoothies when I just wanna have a, a break. I love the flavor of buckwheat. Hope you give this a try. So start with the buckwheat groats. Make sure you get raw instead of the kashi or kasha, I don't remember, but the toasted ones. Okay, make sure you get the raw ones. You can eat these raw or you can soak them. And today we're gonna soak them overnight. So find a container that you like that's coverable. I like this one because it's got a cover with it. You can use any kind of container. Put the buckwheat groats in there. Also add a tablespoon of chia seeds, a tablespoon of carob powder or raw cacao powder. I like carob powder personally. It doesn't have any caffeine in it then a quarter cup of walnuts. I'm adding a teaspoon of allspice, but you can feel free to use cinnamon or nutmeg or anything you like, then add the vanilla in. Then you're gonna mix all this up with some almond milk or soy milk, any kind of non-dairy milk. Just mix it all together and cover it and put it in the fridge. You'll wanna do this overnight, or even 15, 20 minutes is enough. So the next morning, you're gonna take a bowl, add some fruit. So I'm adding some blueberries, sliced grapes, and some banana. And then you put in your buckwheat, put in a third of the buckwheat mixture, and then add your goji berries right at the very end. I mean, you can add them in before, but I really like the texture of them when they're super chewy and delicious. <laughs> and then you can add a little bit more milk if you need to, to kind of get it to the consistency that you love. Mix it all up and you have breakfast. It is so delicious. Buckwheat might be a little bit different for you as a flavor in the beginning, but once you get used to it, oh my gosh, you will be hooked. We get our G-bomb consumption off to a great start with some black beans as a base for these bars. Into the food processor goes the black beans to get smushed up. A quick push down from the sides and we add our banana. Ours was previously frozen and thawed, so we're just gonna toss in the banana liquid as well. Now some vanilla powder. Did you know that vanilla powder has actual nutrients in it as compared to vanilla extract that's typically just alcohol and flavored water? So we add some cinnamon for some extra yumminess and extra nutrients. This mixture gets stirred into some oats. We'll add some seeds, dried fruit, fresh blueberries, and a bit of pomegranate juice to help pull this all together. We spread it into a Silpat pan, but you can use a regular eight x eight or a nine by nine with a tiny bit of oil spread in the bottom if you think it needs it, or just give it a try without the oil and see if it sticks or not. Then we put that into the oven. These bars are gonna be a bit crispy on the outside and soft on the inside, not unlike a packaged fruit bar you could purchase, but way fresher, healthier, and tastier. Through the magic of TV, these bars are ready. We cut them into six, slicing those into two pieces each. We're gonna serve these bars with a fresh orange. This is a quick and easy on-the-go breakfast. This is what is and how to make steel-cut oatmeal. Here we have steel-cut oatmeal. So what's the difference between steel-cut, rolled, and quick oats? It's just how much the oat groat has been processed. It results in, a, in each variety having a different texture and varying cooking times. So steel-cut oats almost look like rice that's been cut into two or three pieces. They take the longest to cook and they have a really hearty, chewy type texture that retains much of its shape even after cooking. Rolled oats are also called old-fashioned or whole oats. They almost look like flat discs. During processing, the whole grains of the oats are first steamed to make them soft and pliable and then they are pressed to flatten them. They cook much faster than steel-cut oats. You can make them in a pot with water for uh, in about five minutes versus about 25 minutes for steel-cut. Then the quick cooking oats are also referred to as instant oats sometimes, but they're the most processed of the three oat varieties. They're pre-cooked, dried, and then rolled and pressed slightly thinner than rolled oats. They cook more quickly than steel cut or rolled oats, but they retain less of their texture and they often end up really mushy. So for this recipe, we're gonna use the steel cut oats, but you could also use rolled oats as well. Follow the package directions for the oatmeal. It'll say to add the water and the oats to a pan, bring it to a boil, like a very high rolling boil. Make sure it doesn't boil over by blowing on it if you need to, and then reduce it so that it's simmering. You're gonna just simmer it and stir it for about 25, 30 minutes. You can take a little bite of it to make sure that it's fully cooked. Then to your serving bowl, add your dried fruit, add some uh, nuts, unsalted and unroasted, and add your fresh fruit. And then just put the oatmeal right over top and mix it in. And you have a really, really healthful, wonderful, and also super tasty breakfast.